CT one was three thousand, one was twenty five hundred. Okay, because I think three thousand is the figure that's three thousand is the original figure that I was right. right. And that's what I had mentioned. Does that seem acceptable? Yes. Oh, well, there's a limit. It is what I recall as. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's certainly a good deal for the town. Anyone that would oh, yeah, leave yeah, no, our yes. policy for three thousand dollars would end up saving much more than that on any of our policies. So. It's, it's a, it turns out not to work in the long run. Because I don't know if there's going to be a long run. And right. With this uh, whole help. Exactly. But we're yeah. all going to be a single payer thing in 2014 or so. And the right. dust settles up a lot of us. I'll second that motion. Okay, great. Um, we'll just make it quick. Because we've got to write about this part of the personnel policy and have it. Available for new hires. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, we have to advertise the hiring decision uh, deadline is Monday at noon. Okay. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Accept the minutes. Uh, any discussion? Seeing none, so we'll proceed to vote. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Technically, we have a contract. We have no contractor. Edgar, uh, who works for um, Rockwood Associates, also uh, is employed by Newark.
It's in flux. It's in flux. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I can give you some background yeah. on that too. Okay. Because Ernie Saunders called me with this news. That's how I found out about it. And yeah. His hope is that his association with Edgar is going to basically blend into something that would allow them to assume this contract. What, what, what was uh, Edgar's uh, relationship with uh, Rockwood? Yeah, Edgar works, um, we'll start at the beginning, Edgar works for Chris Rockwood. Okay. He was employed by Nimrick um, on a part-time basis for consultants. Now, Edgar has 30 years plus in the business and so did Chris Rockwood. Um, so we met with them as a list of board and, and Chris Ryan and um, and we interviewed them about the project. Chris, they were our first choice. Chris, Chris right. and Edgar together. And, and Edgar together. Okay. So we met with both of them, and they were our our first choice. Um, now Edgar also works as a consultant part time for Newark. Newark is our software that most of the municipalities in Vermont use. Um, so what can so there's a possibility. Um, all right, so we sent out the contract. The contract did not come back signed. I called, Chris and I had spoken, and I called, and then Edgar got back to me to say he was in the hospital, and then Edgar got back to say that he perished. It was like two days or something it happened over the weekend. And at that time, because Edgar is employed by Nimrick, um, Nimrick is available to possibly take the contract on with a little bit of a change with taking their software person, Chris Mealy, as adding him to the contract to help with the training for listers. He's very good at what he does, for he sure. Have, he would have been, he was already in the contract as a sub-consultant. Yeah. No, oh, sure. No, sure. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, he'd be named in the contract. He wasn't. He wasn't named, but Nimrick was named as the. Okay. Right. They're training on the so until this passes, we would have been working with Chris and Edgar. Well, now we're looking at working Edgar with Edgar and as an employee of Nimrick. Possibly. Here's here's. Um, I mean. But he's also on the approved contract. All right. The thing is, is that the, the. I mean, more than likely it will behoove the town to stick with our first choice, who's Edgar, and have him work, have Nimrick step up and be the kind of backing for Edgar. Um, the rewriting of the contract would just include Chris Mealy as, uh, you know, he would be named as kind of our training person. Um, and the glitch is that Nimrick isn't on the approved list for the state as far as reappraisal companies. Edgar, however, is. So so we can kind of, the way that I see it and the conversations that Chris and I have had and I've had with many other people is, is, is if Edgar signs it on behalf of Nemrick, it's like, it's sort of similar to Edgar signing it on behalf of Chris Rockwood. I, I am going to meet with the Lister board on Friday because Ruby's back from Pakistan, yay. And Tim Severance is staying on board uh, presently anyway, and I hope for the remainder. Um, and we're also going to meet with our district advisor, Cy Bailey, who knows all the players, by the way. So, I mean, it, it seems like it would be the right thing for the town to just continue in this way, but I feel as if it would be good for me to meet with the listers, let them know, and meet with Cy and make sure and just, and, and then come to you guys and say, these are the options and this is why we would go this way. But it's such sad news and it was completely unforeseen. Um, he had survived a kidney transplant about six months ago and, the, and everything was fine. And then he got a cut, he got infected, he went to the hospital and more or less never came out. So I did send a sympathy card to his wife, Hayley, in behalf of the town. But I, I mean, except for the dozen phone calls I've had with him, and the one time I met him, uh, you know, I just know that there is definitely not, not a person I've met in the industry who doesn't know him. So. 
Well, let's see what the list board says, and as long as they're all right with it, I mean, it sounds. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the price, the price would, at least at this point, the price would remain the same. Right. If the member were to be right. step into the role of. Right. You know, I mean, even if Edward. Right. I get it. Yeah, it's more just a situation of if you're still comfortable with the service they're going to provide is where. Where, right. where they were. Right. Well, that, which it sounds like the guys like, worked with within this for a period right. of time. Being, right. Being well, the main man, he well one been of the one conversations on this project to begin with. Am right. I correct. Or? Yeah, Edgar is great at what he does, um, um, and and he would be the point person. The thing that Edgar is not great at okay. is the people part of it, which Chris was great at. <laughs> He's a bean counter. He <laughs> doesn't have to have people's skills. <laughs> right. But he's absolutely right on. And so so it's who's going to fill that part of it, which is the question. And as I said, because our district advisor also has 30 years in the business, taking his advice on how, on how we move and who's going to be employed, because if Edgar can hire the same people, essentially, and do the contract through NIMRIC, then it's the same people, just minus one of the players. A top player, but one of the players. So if that's the case, then, then, then we're doing very little shifting. But this is the news, and so, um, I mean, all of you meet again in two weeks, and what I'd like to be able to do is keep you in the loop for two weeks because ideally we'd like to start in July and that's actually the other thing is if it if it goes the way where everybody is employed that would have been just minus Chris then it then it could start on time it could be our same time as far as I know I will no no till I talk to Edgar but because the funeral was today we didn't really yeah so so would you like me to keep you in the loop before two weeks or just wait two weeks and have me tell you then? Or? Just keep my Chris in the loop and okay. okay. Chris can, keep us Chris can sign stuff or and whatever. Certainly add our condolences to his Yes. Oh, oh, I did. I did. Yeah, I sent it from the town and, and you know, on behalf of the town. And Edgar, uh, you said it's been an associate and worked with him for 22 years. So, I mean, I, so. Yeah. What, I, what I'm simply saying is that, that, they're, that he's got the information and the, and the background that yeah. the firm is bringing into it. Yeah. And as long as you're comfortable in the competency level being there. You know, right, I mean. It should, it should be. So. Yeah, I mean, if Edgar basically steps up to the number one slot, if he's comfortable with doing that and he has people, the same people, then it, it kind of sort of is more or less the same thing. Is Edgar aware that he's not a great people person? Oh yeah, as a matter of fact, we actually brought it up at the meeting because Ruby was able to push some buttons that definitely showed that it was not, uh, yeah, it's creepy, right, in here at night. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it came to light that Edgar's, well, oh yeah, I must have, okay. So, yes, he is aware of that. And, and that's where Chris Rockwood stepped in, and then I heard all kinds of stories about Chris. So I know. Well, as long as he's aware Ultimately, of that, yeah. Well, yeah. Where, where does he, is, he's not coming in any kind of contact with the public. The oh, yes, absolutely. Because he does the. The, the uh, data the, collection the, is a big uh, part of it. I mean, uh, it's but certainly. Great, they would be part of grievances potentially also. Right. right. But then, I mean, when they go to any of that, they're in, accompanied by listers. Correctly, correctly well, not. yes, but my understanding was that Edgar and Chris worked very well together because of each other's strengths. Wow. So that's really what's, um, what the focus has been. And that's why talking to Edgar about what's going to happen next is important too. But yeah, he's, he's aware of the limitations that he has in this. And also his strengths. His strengths are great in this. So. But it's um, it's bizarre news, and um, yeah. So, but uh, you all know how to reach me, so you can reach me. And yeah, and if Chris can sign things that are needed, because 
because there will be another contract if it ends up being the same one and we just add one other person to it if Chris can continue to sign in in the behalf of the town yeah. then hopefully we can get it done in the next week well, well I would think yeah I mean ideally bring it back on the 20th for sort of everyone get on board right and just not that I can't sign it on a date other than the 20th but clearly if you have more discussions to take place with your fellow listeners and Knows what's going on. Right. I mean, Come out of all this. I mean, this is a strange situation. It know? is strange. It's. I mean, we were yeah. supposed to start July first. You know, the first week of July. So, um, I mean, we could certainly wait till the twentieth to officially sign the contract. You know. Well, they would have. I mean, they, you know, geez. I would take a month with another. I mean, oh, you know. What? Well, I mean. You know, oh, even, oh, I see even what you mean. If, you know, if, if things got pushed off a little bit yeah. in a in a two or three year process, I don't think a month's going to make yeah. much difference. With a certain change of breath. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you know, in grief, uh, who knows what they're right. they really think we all feel about this. And yeah. Even our advisor, I understand, was a colleague of Chris Watkins. Oh, was a close friend. Yeah. Right where he worked for him before he went to work for the state of Vermont. Yeah. Yeah. They. They all knew each other, and, um, and Chris was like Bristol's guy. He was the guy who flipped the pancakes at the fire station and gave out gifts at Christmas and did the fundraisers. He was like Bristol's good citizen guy. So, yeah, so, so there'll be, you know, it has a ripple effect, but anyway. It's unseemly pace. Oh, it certainly isn't coming across that way to them. I mean, they would they you know. Yeah, it isn't coming Well, I mean I'm so much I mean just everybody involved, you know. Like trying to cut a contract within two days of someone's dying. Yes, yeah, but you know, I mean see, see how it plays out. I mean, That's not how it's coming across. Yeah. I mean I mean I think it across a little bit that way to me. Well, I've been talking to the people for a couple of days now. I mean the first thing we talk about is actually the grief and the loss. And I don't even bring up business till they do, you know. So. See how it works out. Yeah. So. Anyhow, so that's it. So, if there are any questions. No. no. I, I do have actually one. Edgar was our was a contractor who was actually pitching his services before he signed on with Ernie. Was he doing that through Rockwood, or was it yes. his own? No, it was through right. Rockwood. Mm -hmm. He and um, he and Cy Bailey, our district advisor, <clears throat> and Chris Rockwood all worked together under Chris Rockwood Associates. Oh. So, so he was all of these players were very close. So when he came here to do work with you, he would, that was to say Rockwood Associates. He he had left Rockwood Associates to take a job with the state. I meant Edgar. When Edgar was working with you, remember Edgar did the work with the landscape. Oh, the, oh yeah. Well, that was that so was leading up toward a possible reappraisal before he signed on. Remember? When no, he was working as a consultant for Nimrick when he came to do that. That was that was okay. So yeah. he was not with he Rockwood was, at that point, or he wasn't representing himself. He, as well. Right, okay. right. No, he was work because he he does. Um, co consultant work okay, uh, yeah. for Nimrick. That's right, because I had talked with him, him and with Ernie. Right. Okay. right. And that was already back in ways, but anyway. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So, you have somebody in there? I don't know. I'm going to check and see what's going on. No. I'm going to make sure. The computer stole it. All right. That's close. Okay. Did you guys already do it? Yes, we did.
was right. I'm thinking about what was going to happen very quickly. And uh, it's just uh, almost so quickly that I was like, whoa. <laughs> because who knows what the legal ramifications of. Right. The, 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 the did have business. I have no idea how hard house is. But she did say that Ed Claude Felter is also with the Vermont State Approved list. So. Yes, he is on that list. That's why I was sort of asking, was he? did he do independently? Did he do appraisals? Because you get on the list to be a firm. Right. So I'm not sure. It probably doesn't matter at this point, because I do think that he's going to sign on full time with Nimrod. So to use his services probably will require that to happen. If that's the way they decide that they want to go, I mean, they could come up with a new recommendation, I suppose. I mean, that's all sort of wide open now. I mean, there was another firm that was very close. Yeah. But when the full board meets, they can decide that. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Yeah. competent hands, right? All right. All right. And let her bring it to us. Let them bring it to us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Tom Manager's report, plunge right in there. Yep. Puppy pool painting is done. Everything is, uh, including, I, I looked at the interior floors that were done last year, and they're really, really appealing. So I asked Eva if she'd be willing to like, touch them up, which she did. And then guys washed them, she's repainted them, and the uh, epoxy in the pool is all done, so it's going to get refilled on Saturday. That looks good. I think there's a little miscommunication between uh, Chris Hayes and I because the, the color was not the color that I specified. It's the one, the next darker one. So it's like a blue mist, it's blue ice. So it's like, well, I tried to print out a color chip, but unfortunately, I couldn't. Like, I see the howling headline tomorrow. Mm. Right. Pool color controversy stirs actually, pot in. I'm pretty concerned about <laughs> color wise. And it looks to me like a pretty. It looks it's, like it's pool. It's like pool pool. Pool, yeah. pool, pool, pool blue. blue. <laughs> yeah, the other one is really light. This one is just sort of medium blue, but it's, it's nice actually. I could be, you know, it would be nice in the shallow end because it's super reflective. When that white bottom was out of the water, where you know the shallow end. Sounds like the kind of thing. So the less you talk about this, the better off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. You're going to be, it's going to be too oh, wet. You know, now you've started. Blue, the, blue's blue. 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 Like I said, it's a change. You know, we were, we were Boy, all aware. dictates we blue is blue. Right. Approach change with, with due caution. But anyway, it's done. And Dennis uh, and the guys mowed a path to the edge of the brook. So the, so the Fire department so yeah. down yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so other than that, um, well, Mark, just uh, well, thinking about it, Mark Simon's did stop by today. We just uh, Cynthia was here. We discussed the contract again, and everyone seems happy with, with that idea that we're going to take the maintenance budget into in-house. So he's reduced the contract by that amount. So all he's handling it, labor and all of the, you know, basically the state required testing chemicals for the treatment and so on. So probably have that for ready, and you know, either I can sign it or we can bring it back to you for. And those out, and outstanding obligations, what we looked at in a figure of seven thousand three hundred, is that going to be? That's he would be very grateful. And, and as, we, as we said, it's none of, the, none of those expenses are right. in his pocket. I mean, they're right. all, they they're all things expenses. he paid out. They're, they're yeah. paid out on behalf of the, of the right. facility. They're it's all not facility his upgrades. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. So we can figure some way to. Will that be billed to us as an actual invoice or something? Well, that's a good question. I guess we'll have to work out the, the mechanics of the invoicing it to the system. I mean, it would come, you know, we, we would transfer it from the system budget into his budget just to basically replenish that for this year. I guess that's how we would make it whole within this fiscal year. Or half, actually, it's a little more than half of what he actually spent. Right. So, 
Yeah, fools tax on there. Can we come out ahead? Okay, draft delinquent collections policy. I actually kind of pulled this after Cynthia and I talked about it. And I think it's a little, we just got a copy back, and I could certainly give you all a copy. But it's a little vague. A little crude still. Yeah, yeah. we're still, I mean, there are too many questions that both of us raised. Cynthia's going to get the copy of Westminster's. <clears throat> and some of the things we want to work on are, you know, the whole, you know, when do you actually tax sale property? You know, is two years too long to wait? Should there be some way of letting people know that that shouldn't go on? Definitely, uh, I, I did. Right now, we have ten properties that are going to tax sale. And so that's dropped. Yeah, either pretty dramatically cleaned yeah. up or have signed agreements. Yeah. yeah, people are definitely responding. But the the ten that are left uh, represent about fifty thousand dollars in delinquencies. delinquencies. Mm -hmm. Of a total of one hundred ninety-one thousand dollars. So it kind of shows you that the. You know, the majority of the overdue stuff is actually in the current year, in the first, first year. First year. Right. So anything that could be done as a strategy to get people to deal with, that. Deal with them. And I think, you know, I think Cynthia's right, you know, we've talked about this ourselves, is that, you know, you're, the more we put it out there in a regular way, you know, the, the bill every month, right. very, you know, sort of... Well, proactive. Yeah, you know, that people may start... Yeah. Because they're, we were trying to figure out where people's payments come because many people don't ever make it to the second year so that you know these they get paid up right. I and mean, there's a certain group that does seem to can turn up again and again but most people you know they're in a cycle of some kind but it seems to resolve itself before they get to a tax sale so if there's any way to speed it up the problem is if it doesn't come in before august 30th it basically impacts the bottom line the, you know, the, this year's surplus, right. because you have to defer that revenue, you know, so basically it's $100,000 outstanding is $100,000 you have to basically, you know, subtract from revenue, you know, revenue. Yeah. And it's August 31st because it's a 60 day free mm -hmm. 60 day. Six, because of the accrual basis right. economy yeah. is we're allowed to count revenues that come yeah. in. Up to 60 days. Yeah. After. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, you know, we're in utilities, that's another thing to figure out how to integrate that into that policy somehow. Yeah. And how to collect them, you know. Make there be some. Yeah, some link so that it's easy enough for the collector, the delinquent collector to handle that. Right. And it's a little bit awkward now because Anita basically is when it sends out those bills. That, I wouldn't say random times, but it's not clear when. Yeah, we just sent them out now, for instance, a bunch of delinquencies. But there's not even delinquent in the same on the way. Taxes or on the utilities? The utilities. Why does she send those? Because you do the utility billing, don't you? So the delinquencies. She's the collector. She the payments. Right. She the payments, and she's always somehow ended up doing it, I'm guessing, because Jill never really took it over when she was delinquent collector. Right. But I think in the policy does say that those assessments will be collected by the delinquent collector. And I think having a clear way of determining when they're delinquent, because they really are not quite the same as tax payments. Right, no. You know, yeah, and that, you know, I don't even know, you know we, there's some weird penalty of like 6% tacked onto these, which I'm, they're not in the ordinances. Um, onto the utilities. utility bills? Yeah. And I don't even know, you know, when are those delinquent? I mean, after a year. Well, I would or, think with utility billing, uh, why wouldn't we just go to the straight one point five yes, percent per month after, after thirty days? Right. Yeah. Well, we do yeah. that too. And so, but then there's an additional. Penalty. Yeah, but I think I think the penalty is a little suspect, even to say you should be adding it because I don't think there's any justification for it. Really, it's not this, it's not covered under the state uh, statute of dreamed up. Fee and that will like so collector eight percent to cover the cost. Right. Of, to my mind, it's going to be better just to, you know, the interest starts right. as soon as it's thirty days. The yeah. first quarter's bill is overdue, and you just keep right. adding that, and then eventually you find some way to make it a little more right. aggressive collection if it's overdue for a year. Right. Um, but boy, eighteen percent. Yeah, I mean that's, that's a car time. I mean, all of 
Elvis thinks if you could. Yeah, eighteen percent. If you got it in, you'd definitely be right. Well, that's ahead of me. No, and we, you know, I don't want to wait I mean, say that sarcastically, I know. but you know, if we, uh, yeah, uh, we don't want to be, we don't want to be charging somebody eighteen no. percent. I mean, everyone I talk to when I talk about this, you know, if you can get get it cleaned Clean up, up through, a, through a yeah through an equity loan or something, right. because pay three percent, right, exactly, and get it, you know, as opposed to paying us. 16 or 18 percent. I mean, that's really this is no, no advantage. Uh, the, the River Road Archbridge, I went up, he's almost done. He thinks it'll be done by Friday. Doing a good job, really. I mean, they're very enthusiastic and a lot of heavy stone working there. Um, and I'll get Dennis to give the final approval, but I guess we'll probably, you know, be cutting a check in the next one. To the finish of that project, and we did just get a FEMA update like this afternoon, which looks to me like it's basically saying that yes, the FEMA is now paying ninety percent of everything instead of seventy-five. Good. And then the state's kicking in an extra five, which means the town would only really be exposed to five percent of the total. That's our total. Of the total, so we're we'll getting back about a hundred thousand money in the end. <clears throat> I'm still glad we didn't need so much of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm right. mean, sitting with the other managers right. last Friday. Right. And yeah. I mean, yeah. they, they, everyone's talking a million, a million. Yeah. three million. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, some of these guys must be. It must just be. It is. Yeah. 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 It's, really, it's really something. I mean, it is. And even, even, that, five, model, like, even that 5% for them is going to be. Yeah. And, that's, and those were not the same program where we just, they just cut us checks. These guys, uh, I think these reimbursements are longer in coming. And some of these people are flowing huge amounts. revenue loans in anticipation of getting it back. Yeah. But mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, really very lucky. For, okay. uh, hidden, hidden Acres Gravel is on the your impacts there there's uh, maps of you know. See the first one goes down to the three sheets. The first C3, one. three. Look at stage one blend. Yeah, I think it's uh but probably the C4 C four C way. Yeah. Alright, so C this is for changing the access. Well, yes, yeah, so what really what happens is you'll, you'll see one where the access goes down into the floor of the pit. Right. Mm -hmm. And then another one where the access gets reloaded. So this is so it still shows it dropping into okay. So this is the, like the last one. Yeah, it comes across and then down. No, I don't look at this. It was colored. I would do sure. It's a little bit easier to see when it's colored. Uh, so this is just how it will progress over time. Is that the idea, or are these three different possibilities? Yeah, progression over time. Right. And as we enter, so that basically is, I think they're thinking that covers about five years of extraction. Yeah. Yeah, and there are also got a nice little. Oh, okay, yeah. Print out something that would show this all in 3D. And oh, I'm sure they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's C4, which is the first one. And then there's mm -hmm. C5, well, first, which shows it. Oh, that's the first one. I'm sorry, C3. 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 Yeah. C3. Taking out this right. and then accessing to take out that. Yeah. And then coming right across. So it actually shows us getting over the boundary. That's what this is. Right. 
over the boundary of SB lands into and, this. And, and then we move our road onto it once we're... Well, the, there's still extraction to be done by both parties before the road gets moved, because that's where you're going to take that slope and push it out of the SB pit right. in, into the move the whole edge back. back. Yeah, push yeah. it through. But then, this but then the road comes through there. Yeah, because right. then this has got that, this is basically the store that puts the burn back mm -hmm. that Between separates the, the, yeah. the properties. And at that point, SB is out of the picture, right? Yeah. Is that the idea? Yeah. yeah. But at that point, everyone's, they've got all of their gravel that they could have received right. on this new uh, plan. And, this, and then we would still. This represent, what is this green represent? That would be the, I think, the boundary. Of the that's the playing field, but I think that also oh, is the boundary okay. of the what, what's going to be requested. Right. You know, that, so this pit would still the towns would still push in that direction. Right. But okay. only up only to only up to that two hundred feet, feet or right. more from and that boundary. Still two hundred feet from yeah. the road boundary. Yeah. Um, that's that's the hope. So that should this wage a lot of the I think every, almost everyone except I think you know maybe at least one of the residents still thinks he might not be quite happy with the risks, you know. But we talked we talked about that last thing, the blasting possibility, you know. And not surprising. I mean yeah. you know, I I mean the blasting I guess I'd be a little nervous, nervous if there was a pit coming in right next to my house that was blasting, but not yet. Um, but yeah, I travel yeah, somewhere. Yeah. yeah, blasting seems like the biggest issue in general, just because of you know the noise associated with blasting is a little different than the noise of a crusher. It's more, you know, invite them to the ceremonial first. Let them. Yeah. July fourth. July fourth. Everyone. Uh, yeah. Everyone loves July fourth. Everyone learns to love blasting. <laughs> Oh yeah, actually, I meant the bla modern blasting, I guess. I mean, with all those mats, it's that pretty, bad. pretty yeah. muffled, right? Oh, they can no. do amazing things. Yeah, it's sort of, they probably sort of feel it a little bit more than they will anybody. That's why it's got it. such a price tag on it. Yeah. For the most part. <laughs> Dennis was talking about it. Quite expensive. Earl Stockwell used to blast. When he was <coughs> crushed, crushed his car. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> From I attended that seminar. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm... So that was, was another one for So, yeah, I think it's, like, it's pretty regulated business these days. So, any other... Okay. Oh, to get the Add 250 stuff... Yeah, once the, arc so once the uh, yeah, archaeological are done. done... The archaeological is still... I don't have an actual definite answer yet as to what the final disposition of that is, whether they're going back in right now and, and digging a few more pits or whether they're still waiting to, you know, get a final answer from the state about like reducing the work a little bit, the scope of the work. But, but I guess the assumption is still that something will happen to you know, find to clean that up to finalize the you know get the, their blessing that it's okay, there's nothing really being disturbed in there. And therefore, they would move because they'd need that done for their Act 250. Um, and uh, right now, I think the, it looks like the Act 250 hearing would take place in the end of July. So there's a you know, at that point probably you, know, you guys will get drawn in more you know, testimonial wise, I suppose, going down there. Are you all? The last one was everybody on board. The last, the one for for the carpenter for carpet. I went to part of it. I remember going to the to the, the downstairs in the right. in the yep. church in the center of Dumbarton. Right. Yeah, I, it was pretty straightforward. It seemed at that point. I mean, no. Yeah, there were. I mean, there were a lot of conditions there were that questions. they put on yeah. there, right? yeah. you know, that came out of those hearings that were, yeah. that were in the car still on the carpenter pit, you know, the hours of operation. I mean, the, so I expect they'll be similar. Similar. Yeah. Be. Mm -hmm. Are the public hearings done until the Act 250? Mm -hmm. Are there any um, more people? They're kind of, they're kind of neighborhood meetings. A lot of neighborhood meetings. I don't know. I mean, they are public. But, 
but I, they're not required. Uh, but they also will have a zoning uh, here. They'll have a development review board hearing too before Act 250. And so uh, that's hasn't been scheduled yet either. But that review will be up here sometime in the next month. Then you talk about that, and they, those guys have been, they, they feel pretty confident that the, you know, the potential problems are being addressed and that everyone is getting all the information they need. So I don't know what kind of political football it is, really. Because, you know, we're, is there anyone's phones ringing? No, off? no absolutely not. I haven't heard a word. No, I don't think we're good. I mean, not on the radar at this point, so it's okay. Um, Central project change. Actually, I, I don't. I mean, my, the update is that we still don't have the final number for the uh, for the two structures that have to be drawn. Yeah. Is that the the one when you come along? There's one that's where the the granite is interrupted, and there's the appearance of a down the call a drop. No, it's not that far down. Um, right here by the church, right past the church? No, more like it. Uh, I would say it's north of Burt's, but the, the, the granite's all in place, and then it just stops for three feet, and there's a structure there of some sort. And oh, that, if that's, that's where there, it has to be lowered. One of those, one of those uh, what do you call it, uh, like a plate. To offset it over, it, over so it, over it. So there is no curve there because it's going to drain underneath the sidewalk slightly. Okay, that's uh, yeah. No, that makes sense. I just wondered why it was that's, that it was. That's right. I'm not sure that mentioned it. There are a couple of those. So those are just part of the plan. But so it's, it's, it's basically a drain that drops down into the curb kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually. I don't know. I mean, I think they form with concrete somehow. Yeah. From the granite. In. Yeah. Okay. And then so that it does drop, yeah, and then to hold the plate up. <clears throat> um, yeah, I haven't actually seen one of those yet to see how what the plate looks like. Um, I would guess from where they are now, it'll be within so, the next day yeah. or two. Well, they had a rough day today, I can tell you. Did they? Yeah. Not? Yeah. they got because of the storms, yeah, yeah, they got it all you know, their first quarter. Ready, we're gonna get to go <laughs> feet, and then it started suddenly, it was sunny, and then suddenly, it, oh, yeah. and it's boring, they're right. running around and they. Finishing it and then they put plastic on it. I think they got it. I don't know. Look, from what I could see, it looked supposed to be like this all week. I think they're okay, but they, they canceled the afternoon. Or I think you they don't did. know what that's like, do you? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is it possible for them, one of the one guy saying, "Oh man, I hope we don't have to tear all this up." Oh. That wasn't as warm, and he said, "Chief, just didn't even talk about that." Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Usually, you just hang with it. Back. Yeah. Well, especially when it, you know, the, the, at least where I was today, they were passing, you know, it poured, but then. Yeah. Well, they, they basically tooled it and had it in good shape. And I mean, there was some water on there. I mean, it was right at the, when it was getting ready to, to finish. So they yeah. had to like broom off some water and then redo it. But then they got plastic over everything. That, and I, I think it, it was going to be fine. I went down. Everything I could see had set up. Yeah. And yeah, looks good. Yeah, it's amazing. You can actually walk on the sidewalk from Definitely the game, yeah. from the uh, for a couple hundred feet. Yeah, for a couple hundred feet. We did. The post office will be a challenge. I did realize today because you have to basically keep everybody off right the commercial openings for like. And, and I told Gil, oh man, we can't possibly do that. You know, federal, we can't not have these mail deliveries. So. Mm -hmm. We'll have to work something out. I don't know, probably a, like a, maybe a plate or something, mm -hmm. something yeah. over it that allow trucks and then they could tell everyone else to park. You know, well, like park. Park. I mean, I must have taken that into consideration, I would have thought. I don't know. It, it, didn't, it hasn't come up yet. I mean, I've talked to I mean, the they must have some of those big steel plates. Oh, yeah, they do have plates. But I'm not even sure whose job it is to do. Well, it's ultimately it's M&M's, but no. You know, Valley have them, or they're the concrete company. Right. Anyway, yeah, probably no, no, probably not excluding concrete. Right. Right. Well, thanks. Yeah. So somehow or other, we'll have to, do, you know, 
be able to coordinate that yeah. carefully. Okay, I don't think there's anything else about it. It seems to be on schedule. The update basically is that I talked to Richard about it and they're doing it. I remember that tape assessment. There is no ordinance necessary. Okay. This is just a I think ordinance. You applied that, but I weren't sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, I talked to Richard and said, yeah, this is nothing. Yeah, it's not it's not really like a town ordinance that would have so any don't repercussions. Have to post it or anything. No, there's no legal I think it's only what you feel is appropriate to get, you know, you feedback. And you know, and Tom's been going through the list. We got a refined list which had actually a lot fewer lights on it because it turned out a lot of the lights Daniel brought to you guys to look at were already privately owned. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Huh. So there were like 20 something left out of the 35 or what 40 you presented that were. Huh. So Tom's looking at it from public safety and I said, you know, runner, you know, anyone you wanted to ask Melissa, anyone who had thought about. Yeah where a light would or wouldn't be a good thing. And we had talked about trying to advertise, and we didn't do that yet. Um, I mean, do we want it, to put a notice in the paper? It probably wouldn't be a bad I idea once we have a well-defined list. OK, we know. Yeah. 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 Once we all have the following light table. Yeah, right. yeah just compare it. Unless, unless someone comes in and makes it. Right, in case. if you have a, yeah, if you have. A reason. Okay, then we could uh, do that. Well, let's see where everybody's at with it, whether, whether uh, Tom's finished his review and make up something good. That looks like your list. Pretty much. I mean, we do. We will have an executive session for a couple of items. And, but, oh, did you guys get the, you, you might. This project, and I haven't actually gone and looked at this. This is the, the signage up on West Hill. I guess. It, it looks good. It? Have you guys noticed yeah, I've noticed that. I don't, I don't know that I've seen all of it, but I've seen some of it where it certainly was seems appropriate. Good. You know, I, I'm sure I have been up there this summer. I just didn't. I just didn't look. It's so like obviously from shooting in front of me going up Houghton Road. <laughs> no, and it's not going to, you know. I mean, it's, but I, you know, I definitely, you know, think I've noticed all of the signage, all of the, the speed limit. It's, changes it's, it's, it's mostly, mostly about very visibility, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Turns and arrows. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, I, it's good though, definitely. Mm -hmm. cool. sign at the bottom of the mountain. I had to laugh. I, had to, I, I, had, I looked at that twice and I'm going against something. Trucks and I said, RVs, buses, uh, you know, and trailers going using this road. And I'm saying, why, why now and why not? And then they said, you know, it's because people get sent over there by their GPS. Yeah. Oh, of right. course. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. And you're, you know, that's uh, all over the line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a, right. Shortcut. Shortcut. <laughs> So I, I'm seeing, you know, the, the bus length uh, RV towing yeah, exactly. a boat and heading. Mm, <laughs> can't make, can't make that. Or the parking yeah. foot tractor trailer. Yeah, yeah, right, gr right, grinding up on the mountain. It's, it's the, you know, the going up's not so bad. It's that backside. Yeah, all of a sudden. Might be a little bit yeah, less for you to do. It's not like you're going to back out, you know. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, under old business, uh, the, the bus shelter. I think we're almost ready to do that. I had Dennis one up at it again. It doesn't look like we need to do anything as long as we move it back, like, you know, eight feet. Can you outline that where that's going to end up? Yeah. Because it's very okay. possible at the end of next week or beginning of the following. You could okay. Get that in there. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll put some stakes or something and I'll talk to, I'll talk to Putney Meadows and just let them know what's going on just so no one gets. Uh, they'd probably benefit more than anybody from mm -hmm. it, I think. And we decided we'd just not, we'd go ahead and do it, forget the bus, we wouldn't worry about the bike rack, because that seemed to be like what's holding it up from moving forward. And just. And that can probably be added if yeah, we'll just yeah, it, It's going to be by the same company, and I would guess it could be both. Right. Right. Yeah. 
I mean, it might be worth taking that into consideration for the Well, that was kind of a board, board but waiting, but do you need concrete under the bike? Only if, it, if that's what it anchors to. I mean, that, that would be the only thing I would think. Oh, yeah, right. It might be worth inquiring, but... Well, for some reason, Daniel has not been able to get specs on it or something. Yeah, anything to show what it's going to look like or where it's going to go. He's a bike guy, so he's got to get on it if he wants. I know. It's going to get so forward next week. Like, you know, I mean, it could always what's, what's be What's wrong with the, you know, right, an old bike, bike rack of some kind? Well, well, I think at least one comment I heard was that it would be a shame to have a you know, brand new structure and then have a cob something onto it. Uh, yeah, it looks absolutely. We're not asking yeah. him to make it out of milk cartons. Well, exactly. he's got. <laughs> oh, well, have you seen the new one? Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, I think so the uh, thought would be it would be an anodized right. Right. bra. So it would look like thing a the structure. It would blend into this new thing. But uh, yeah, I suppose it would have to have. Okay. Unless, unless it. Well, maybe. Unless it just juts out. Yeah. But it just could just be something that just space for five for bikes in the back of it that bolted to it. That would be fine, yeah. That would be nice. I as opposed to you got a uh, sculpture competition in town and, uh, and invite different uh, people to compete. That would work if we yeah. 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 Or it's getting that now. You put this on the old old business list for at least two more years and it's to be in good shape. Yeah. Phase two sidewalk, uh, just with that at meeting last week in June, for you guys. Uh, yeah. And you responded already. I, uh, did you? I haven't. What, what was the date? Well, sometime in the last week in June. We haven't said it yet. The only negative I've had is from that man who couldn't do Tuesday, which was the first one I suggested, maybe a Tuesday meeting. Um, I can't do, uh, we're gone. The date. We're back on the 28th. Oh, so you're so you're gone from the, over that weekend leading into that week. Uh -huh. Okay. Didn't I say that? I, was, I thought I said that in the email, but maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we didn't have plans solidified at that point. I think you did. Sure. I thought the only thing I heard from was Matt about conflict, but I can't remember. Okay. Well, I think I said go ahead though. Go ahead. Okay. We'll go. We'll go ahead. But I'll, we'll go ahead on the twenty eighth. Was that you were going to be? That's Thursday. Thursday the twenty eighth. So yeah. Better. So yeah. we are you back in enough time to I unpack. think so. I'm not. Yeah, I'm tired. We can be out. Let me. We'll find out. Oh, I'll be right here. Uh, but again, don't, you know. All right. Well, I think if, if, we know. if everybody yeah. was here to see whatever they're training up. Okay. Um, got the notification, uh, you remember we signed into it. They now have somehow come up with a uh, buy-down of the interest rate uh, for income qualified folks down to 2.99%. And it's pretty generous, I think, that if you're a single person, including alone, the, uh, the income is 56.9%. Couple is like 65,000. So it sounds like you know, it's not. It's not going to be. It's going to be available to quite a few people. I'm guessing Good. at that rate. Billions. You, know, you guys are all self-employed. I'm sure you want to make like three dollars a year, right? You can see the <laughs> deductions and. Select board salary just. Oh, right. Right. Throw it goes into another it's tax bracket. Twenty-five percent. You can't throw anything into <laughs> in the real fund, right? No, it, it takes it knocks you down. It knocks you oh. down into the uh, right. into the fifteen percent range. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's pretty much it. Yeah. Um, Lawrence, do we have some words? Lawrence, probably about all you're gonna. Be interested in that. Are you going into executive session? Yeah, we will. We're, we're Do you do signing. anything after that that I could record? Or Typically, is there anything we're no, going to take action on? No. no. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you.